Okay, obviously an unbelievable performance on uh, on Friday night. We pick up action here about 10 minutes into the first half. A turnover line out. Uh, probably could have got a penalty there for Nicky Easter coming on the side. Big hit from Sinclair on uh, on Ashy. Uh, but again, Quinn's and Fringe at the breakdown. Uh, again, the penalty there from Easter, if it wasn't for the one before. An easy three points. Uh, we started the game magnificently um, and obviously very pleasing as a defence coach. Uh, going on to the game that we didn't concede any points, uh, which might not have been the case had they obviously nudged over a couple of penalties and opted differently maybe instead of going for the sequence of line-out drives. But uh, pleasing to be talking to you right here, right now. So, uh, great interplay from the backs. Uh, Richard Wiggleworth on hand, an outstanding game on Friday night. And Super Duncan Taylor, just about the only mistake he made all night. And uh, unfortunately, losing the ball from a great cover tackle from Mike Brown. But the response from the team, the togetherness we showed, to come back and get that scrum there, to earn us three points directly after that was brilliant. And here we go again, the, the uh, Charlie Chuckles Hodgson himself, uh, scuttling over from about 40 after the charge down. And he's nice. Uh, Headband reminiscent of the great Scottish centre Ian Jardine, for those that recall. Um, so, pick up action here about uh, 30 minutes into the first half. Again, great defence, forcing a turnover. Alex Spidery leg good, working the ball out to Charlie on the outside, who nudges the ball 60 yards up the pitch. And Duncan Taylor again, hairing up on the inside, along with Ashy and Big Brad there as well, forcing a turnover. And Lindsay Haig, who was uh, lucky probably not to get a yellow card for. For holding on and obviously a, a very strong try scoring opportunity to Saracens. So uh, we took three points gladly uh, to make the game obviously 16 0. Uh, unfortunately, here we lose a player, uh, the most cynical of all our players, of course, Charlie Hodgson, with a deliberate knockdown and uh, a deserved yellow card. Uh, an unfortunate one as it put us under a series of pressure, but uh, we withstood that and we pick up action a little bit later on with Nick Easter coming in from the side in the mall and uh, giving us three more points. Um, which we talk obviously our kickers were on great form on uh, Friday night, both Charlie and uh, and Alex and of course Owen later on in the game. Um, as I said, there was a huge sequence of, uh, of, of driving play that uh, Quinns took and I uh, was unbelievably impressed with the forwards and my other hat on with the, with the line outside of things. And uh, we did really well. Um, a bit of ambiguity there with uh, the signalling of, uh, of Barnsley, uh, of Wayne Barnes, um, saying play on uh, and obviously causing a little bit of confusion. Um, and Danny Kerr did, of course, knock the ball back into the ruck. So it should have been a turnover in any case. But uh, we lost a player, but again, we responded magnificently. Got ourselves back into the Quinns 22 and uh, justifiably earned another three points. About 15 minutes or so of the game to go. We see a brilliant kick, excellent kick pressure. Uh, again, forcing Brad Barrett to a magnificent game and it's clearly England's best 12 on this show and again uh, after a magnificent performance against Wasps. Uh, just brought down again by Mike Brown underneath the post. Big Billy uh, not being able to quite get through and uh, Rob Buchanan, uh, the replacement for the Quinns, playing the ball on the floor and uh, earns himself a yellow card. Uh, and again, another three points to Saracen. So, uh, brilliant uh, so far. Obviously, leading into that last 15 minutes, a good cushion now to really go for Quinns. And uh, our defence, which was obviously very impressive all evening, uh, energy and fuses and etc. was outstanding. And again, we see forcing the pace, uh, Super Dunk knocking the ball 56 in Chris Ashton uh, with plenty of pace to spare, uh, going past Marlon Yard uh, with ease, with aplomb, uh, looking good for that English shirt in, uh, in the Autumn Internationals uh, once again is Ashy the Splash. Uh, we're now finally about six minutes in towards the end of the game. George Cruz, another one of our young guns, English player was magnificent. Uh, Herding and shepherding them all uh, with Wolf Fraser at the back. Uh, the beneficiary on this occasion, um, it probably would have been a penalty try if it wasn't actually a penalty, but it's nice to see a forward get his name uh, rather than a penalty try. And uh, you know, a, a, a great seven points there for Will, who's thoroughly been met, uh, deserving his man of the match accolade. And uh, here we go, seeing Owen does another two points. So, as a coaching group, we're very humbled and uh, appreciating the boys' efforts on Friday night. It was magnificent and uh, we look forward to trying to continue that form on Saturday against London Irish.